So here is another question on electric potential. It is given that three points A, B and C lie in a uniform electric field of uh, magnitude 5 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per coulomb as shown in the figure. Find the potential difference between A and C. Okay. So here we have to find the potential difference between A and C. So basically the potential difference between any two points it is the electric field multiplied with the separation gap or distance okay and this negative sign that represents is the negative uh, gradient of change of electric potential that is electric field and when we do this that becomes minus e delta x because change in electric uh, potential that is equal to the negative line integral of electrostatic field okay we have proved this in the theoretical part you can check the electricity and magnetism playlist okay dv is equal to minus adl so here if you see points B and C which are separated by 3 cm, if you pay attention they lie along the same line in the perpendicular direction to the electric field lines. So in that case the separation gap between uh, you know these two points along the negative in the, in the perpendicular direction of the electrostatic field that is equal to 0 okay in the negative uh, perpendicular direction along this line the separation gap is 0 because they lie along the same line okay they lie along the same line so here delta x is equal to 0 so when we multiply delta v between b and c that is equal to minus e into 0 that is equal to 0 volt no change in electric potential so vb is equal to vc and this is what we call equipotential surface or equipotential points or equipotential surface because they lie on a equipotential surface on an electric field. So points lying along the same line in the perpendicular direction to the electric field lines they lie on equipotential surfaces. Now here as VB is equal to VC so potential difference between points A and C is the same as potential difference between points A and B. We can say that because VB is equal to VC. Now for points A and B the separation distance is equal to simple application of Pythagoras theorem equal to 5 square minus 3 square that is equal to root over of 16 that is equal to 4 centimeter AB is equal to 4 centimeter okay AB is equal to 4 centimeter so that is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter so the electric potential difference between points A and B is equal to minus E del x a b okay the gap between points a and b along the same line as the electric field lines okay parallel to it the separation gap parallel to it so here you see the separation gap between these two points in the parallel direction in this direction that is zero in this direction it is three centimeter in the perpendicular direction it is three centimeter but here along the same line it is different. 
for example let us say we have electric field lines like this and there are two points there is one point here and there is one point here so here there is some difference in their position along the line of the electric field in this direction like this okay we are not considering this separation gap okay this separation gap we are considering this separation gap so here b and c the separation gap along this direction that is zero here it is 3 cm but along the electric field line direction that is zero okay so here delta vab is equal to minus e into delta xab the separation gap between points a and b along the electric field line so that is equal to minus 5 into 10 to the power 3 newton per coulomb into 4 centimeter that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 that is equal to minus 200 volt okay that is the potential difference between points a and b now as vb is equal to vc so delta vab is equal to delta v a c okay because points b and c they lie on the equipotential surface they are located along the same line in the perpendicular direction to the electric field okay they are along the same line so there is no change in potential between these two points okay so why we are uh, concerned about this 90 degree the displacement and electric field the angle between electric field and displacement because this is basically the dot product of electric field and the displacement vector so when the angle between them this is e vector and this is dl vector when this angle is 90 degree it is dot product is e dl cos theta so when theta is equal to 90 degree cos 90 degree is equal to 0 okay this so this whole change in electric potential that is equal to 0 volt when the angle between electric field and the displacement vector that is 90 degree in this case in case of bc the angle between e vector and dl vector dl vector is along this dl vector that is 90 degree okay that's why the change in electric potential that is zero that's why points b and c they are at the same potential okay so here is another question on electric potential it is given that two charges plus 10 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb are placed 10 centimeter apart first we have to calculate the potential at a point distant 1 meter from either charge and then what will be the potential energy of a charge of plus 5 micro coulomb placed at that point okay so here we have two charges okay let's say this is point a and another point b which is 10 centimeter or 0 0.1 meter apart then we have to calculate the potential at a point distant 1 meter so it will be along the equatorial line okay along these two charges just like we do it in dipole we have to pick a point along the equatorial line let's say here point p which is one meter apart from both the charges okay so the electric potential at this point p will be the electric potential due to charge placed at a 
plus the electric potential due to the charge placed at P. So this will be equal to QA by 4 pi epsilon 0 AP the gap plus QB by 4 pi epsilon 0 BP. So QA is how much plus 10 microcoulomb and QB is minus 5 microcoulomb. So that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 9 into 10 to the power 9 by AP which is 1 plus again same thing minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 9 into 10 to the power 9 for 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 by 1. So we can take 9 into 10 to the power 9 common also. So this will be it is coming 4.5 into 10 to the power 4 volts. This is the electric potential at point P. This is the first part. Then it is asked what will be the potential energy of a plus 5 microcoulomb charge placed at this point. Okay, plus 5 microcoulomb charge placed at this point. So basically it means if you remember the concept of electric potential, electric potential energy and work done, potential energy of a charge at any point is basically the work done to bring the charge from infinity far away to that point. Okay, so the potential energy here, the change in potential energy that is the work done in bringing the charge from infinity to point P. So that is the potential energy of the charge placed at this point. So that is equal to what? Q into the final point potential that is Vp minus the initial point potential that is potential at infinity. Now we know V phi is equal to 0 volt. This is 0 volt. So it will only be equal to Q V P. Q is plus 5 micro coulomb. V P is this. We have already calculated 4.5 into 10 to the power 4 volt. So the potential energy of a plus 5 micro coulomb charge at P is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 4.5 into 10 to the power 4 volt that is equal to 0 0.225 joules this is the potential energy of a plus 5 micro coulomb charge placed at point P here. Okay, you. Yes. Okay.